Okay. So, now we have to start again multiple reactions and the definitions we have taken, multiple reactions definitions. Okay. And uh, where we stopped yesterday was that we, yeah, uh, we found that for uh, higher order reactions, if the desired reaction is higher order, then maintain the concentrations as high as possible or if the desired reaction is lower order, maintain the concentrations as low as possible. And if temperature is uh, also coming into picture, higher activation energy favors yeah, at a high, high temperature favors uh, yeah, desired product if its activation energy is more. Okay? So, these are the basic rules everywhere you have to use. Right? Now, the question is how do you maintain these high concentrations or low concentrations? Okay, how do you keep C A or C B high or low? Okay, we are also imagining that B also is one of the reactants. How do you keep that? And we know that roughly that when you have mixed flow, you will have high and all that. But what are the other possibilities? If I have batch system, batch, you can have, yeah, you can pour uh, Okay, all this suddenly yeah okay and then you may anyway stirring is there this is batch this is a this is b so this kind of system at uh, time t equal to 0 you just put these two into the system okay and then start stirring so at that time you have uh, c a c b both high if it is B, yeah, right. Both high in this, yeah, in this kind of uh, you know setup. That means suddenly you added both at time t equal to zero and started stirring. And uh, if you are maintaining like that without any disturbance, then you maintain C A C B high and slowly the reaction is taking place. And uh, you know C A C B will be converted to desired product, undesired product, and everything. But when you maintain this. And if I have higher order for a desired reaction, so I will get definitely desired product more than undesired product. Okay? Yeah, good. So that is the one. So if I want to maintain only both low, for example, C A low. So what we do is uh, okay. So you this is A, this is B, but add drop by drop. Okay. So, that it will be yeah, you will be adding drop by drop. You, your idea is to maintain C A low, C B low. So, by adding drop by drop, what happens is that always you are keeping, you know, you are also adding drop by drop slowly and reaction is taking place, then C A will be low, C B will be low, right. And uh, we have not taken any reversible reactions, right. For reversible reaction also rule will be the same only, it will not change. So, then you can maintain C A C B low, if you have first order, I mean, uh, if you have a batch system. Another possibility is, you can either, you have to maintain sometimes either C A low or C B low, one of them. So, again this situation is same that is I will take if I want to maintain C A low, C B high, what do I do? Yeah, C B is first put, this is B and then add this is A, this is A, add A drop by drop. Okay. So, these are all the things, you know that is why the contacting patterns what we have discussed there. Okay. So, now for multiple reactions, we have to choose what are the possible uh, contacting patterns, where our conditions are fulfilled, either 
C A is low, C B is low or both are low or both are high, right? Or temperature is high, temperature is low, right? So, temperature is not that kind of problem because temperature high means I will put here a jacket and then maintain high temperatures, right? But stirring and all that is there, right? Good. Similarly, temperature is not a big problem in choosing this kind of things, but once you choose this, how do you give the temperature, whether outside jacket or sometimes inside uh, coils you have to put, heat will be in direct touch with the reactants. So, then you can also have high temperatures, okay? if it is required. If it is low temperatures, again you have to cool it, all kinds of things we can do. right? So, if I have continuous system, what are the possibilities to keep the concentrations as high as possible in continuous system? right? So, uh, let me write here continuous in this system C A C B high. In other system, we will have C B, C A C B low. These two we will just try to find out. Okay. So, uh, the, this I do not have to give much information because when you maintain this is A and B, this is P F, then we know that definitely we can uh, maintain high C A and high C B if I have this. Okay. Good. So, then uh, for C A C B low, we have A, B, this is coming out. <coughs> right here in the mixture flow normally you can always maintain. Uh, here I can definitely maintain C A C B low because that low also corresponding to the outlet concentrations. Right. So, if you want to still keep it very low, then you have to increase the reactor size and then maintain the concentrations as low as possible and then automatically whatever concentration you put that will be instantaneously mixing to that uh, concentrations and you will get corresponding steady state conversions. Right? This is one and we also have other possibility, you know this is not new. That means, how do I replace this P f with uh, tanks? I may put more number of tanks and we have also seen six tanks are enough to get almost P f. Okay, only may be a 1 percent, 2 percent, 3 percent is left from 6th to or 7th to infinite number of tanks. Right? So, that is why uh, to maintain high concentrations, we can also put yeah. Yeah. So, this kind of arrangement yeah. again put here A and B and anyway it will come out as the product. This is another way of uh, maintaining high concentrations. This is okay. Now, if you want to maintain for example, C A high and C B low, what do you do? C A high, this is continuous system again. I will write here C A high and C B low. For this situation, what do we do? Not bypass, bypass alone will not help you. This is P of, you know C B low I have to put. A I will send here, but B I distribute. This is one of the challenging problems for chemical engineers. Okay. Yeah, this is a really wonderful problem. Definitely you can question how do you maintain plug flow and then still do it. It is not that easy, but still things will work. Right? That means, if I uh, when you are introducing this, there will be some disturbance hydrodynamic disturbance. So, that will definitely create some kind of mixing right? when it is entering. You have the vertical tube or horizontal also and then you are putting various streams at various places and then open the tap. When it is entering, definitely there will be overall flow is from top to the bottom. It is going like this. So, definitely you will have some disturbances, but if you take sufficiently lengthy things, I think you know uh, we are almost near plug flow, but uh, still you will get some kind of small disturbance, but you get good amount of yields. Okay, that can be done beautifully, but mathematically this is not that easy. Okay, A and then B distributed over, so that at any time I will choose my C B. In fact, this is again an optimization problem. Which C B? That means what is the concentration of C B and what will be the flow rates of C B? Distribution. Uh -huh. But I cannot maintain that, no, because again uh, stoichiometrically I have to do that. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. That will be limiting reactant. So I don't get uh, you know the desired uh, products. So that is why. 
चैलेंजिंग प्रॉब्लम I mean, uh, when you're uh, when you're pouring CV at different cross sections, uh. so there might be a probability of mixing, right? That's what I just told you. <laughs> That's what exactly I told you know that uh, hydrodynamic disturbance is there when you are introducing the uh, streams at any cross section, right? So due to that, you will have some kind of disturbance. But overall, if I look, still I may not get 100% perfect plug flow. By the way, there is no 100% perfect plug flow except for conveyor belts. right so that is why that disturbance is there but in spite of that disturbance i will still get more desired product if i use this system if i have to maintain ca high and cb low okay and also we have another nice uh, thing is the same thing you can you just imagine what is the next alternative because plug flow is generally is difficult and then you know you have yeah so that also cstrs you can put let us say six you can take and introduce in everything Separately, that is in fact is much easier. But only thing is, you have to handle six reactors in industry. But whereas you have to only use one pipe. Uh, uh, I mean, when you are trying plug flow, right? Because again, you know, in in, in industry, many people hate maintenance. The more number of uh, pieces they have, then definitely the maintenance also will be high. So that is why they would like to go normally for equipment which is not moving. that means moving parts are not there if you are able to mix without even external stirrer it is excellent you know there was some uh, i think there are many many wonderful things i say if you are able to open for knowledge okay many people i think in 70s try to design motionless mixers static mixers another name for that is static mixers and motionless mixers so the fluid will move itself and then there is no external uh, mechanism where the stirring is occurring and then mixing is taking place see human mind is excellent i think there is no limitation for thinking only thing is you are not thinking for i mean you may be thinking other things i am thinking about chemical engineering that's what my worry is okay so that's why all those possibilities are there but this one is easy for me to handle but except again in industry uh, you know i have to maintain six stirrers six different tanks tanks may be same size okay and again if i have each tank has a coolant that means if it is exothermic reactions you have to remove or add heat right you have to maintain some temperatures so all these problems will be there yeah can we use a magnetic stirrer for doing it magnetic stirrer is lkg right because in magnetic stirrer how you can use in uh, an industry where i have uh, two tons three tons of liquid in a uh, reactor right yeah i mean that is not possible no uh, so that is why we go to i mean i think if you know also uh i don't know where in fluid mechanics you have studied what kind of stirrers we have you you will tell only turbine type and other other one is paddle type propeller type only these three but if you go to actual suppliers of you know google and then ask for yeah different kinds of uh, stirrers thousands you will get thousands i am not joking really i mean so many you can you can get right so that is why stirring itself is one of the again areas where lot of chemical engineering and of fluid mechanics all this went in okay good but i think uh, theoretically when you are discussing yes i can put some 5 6 tanks in series and now again you put B here, A here. This is easy to solve. 
right this is easy to solve also and again for optimization i have to now try to find out what will be the you know the flow rates and concentrations concentration of concentration of a you know but the concentration of b so that overall you will get here at this end the maximum yield okay yeah this will be quite interesting i say because you know i told you if you could have had i'm i'm not trying to pointing out any uh, bad things about you you know i'm not trying to say anything bad about you but you know if the sufficient information was there when you come here for mtech or phd we could have discussed actually this kind of problems okay that means i don't have to explain again what is plug flow i don't have to explain again what is differential method what is uh, you know integral method so straight away go to multiple reactions and multiple reactors from there you can go to temperatures you know non isothermal systems and also rtd and all that right but now i have to bring to that level and then try to say otherwise okay whatever you have the knowledge if i start only with this kind of complicated things i am sure 90% of the brains will be switched off battery lost okay so this is the problem that is why again we have to do all this okay so now this is another way of operating for ca low cb uh, ca high and cb low and vice versa also what we can do good okay so now let us take an example here then you tell me which uh, kind of contacting patterns you can use i have a reaction these are very beautiful problems in levon spear you have to see those problems i think 7th chapter or 8th chapter and uh, in third edition also i think it is 7th chapter okay wonderful problems particularly the examples are beautiful examples solve them i am just trying to give you so that you will have whatever we learnt i think you know just extension so that you can be involved in the class and then you can answer this right so wonderful problems he has designed no other book has given that kind of beautiful problems okay i am telling beautiful because they are simple problems to get the concepts if you go to carberry and uh, other complicated books you will have excellent uh, highly complicated problems but you don't learn the uh, concepts unless you learn here and then go there and then enjoy that book in fact if you uh, understand all the concepts of chemical reaction engineering carberry is the best book for uh, enjoying i am not telling for marks for enjoyment enjoying is different that's what i told you know chemical reactor theory by denby beautiful book like like a novel you can read that like a novel only so beautiful less mathematics wonderful explanations right so but i think again uh, i don't know what is how many of you are really appreciating that right okay anyway the example is a plus b going to r plus t and i also have a plus b this is parallel reaction then s plus u same a plus b going to these two again a plus b going to these two then i will have here k1 k2 as the reaction constants then we also have here dc r by dt also equal to dc s by no t by dt equal to k1 ca to the power of 1.5 and cb to the power of 0.3 that is the rate for this first one for the second one we have dcs by dt also equal to dcu by dt equal to k2 ca to the power of 0.5 cb to the power of 1.8 our desired product is r okay desired product is r now find out what are the conditions so that i can get maximum r you can try desired by undesired undesired cs you can take okay cs or cu both are uh, okay same cs huh? yeah so what did you do you just uh, took now dc r by dcs equal to what do you get k1 by k2 ca yeah and cb to the power of minus 1.5 so how do i maintain to, so, so that i will get this ratio high this ratio is nothing but again rr by rs so what are the conditions so that rr will be more 
C A should be as high as possible. C B should be as, as, as low as possible. Very good. I think all of you have got that. I think you know. Yeah. Then then what kind of reactor I have to choose? Which one, Pooja? There is a name for that, no? P F R with? Yeah, P F R with side streams. P F R with side streams is the best one. Or this M F R is also with? Yeah, side streams again. You know, wherever uh, you know, in each reactor you have to uh, put that. But definitely, that P F R only will give you when compared to this number of tanks. Correct, no? Definitely, unless you put infinite number of tanks, infinite number of tanks you cannot put because various things you know to uh, keep uh, infinite number of tanks. Okay, good. So now I think you know the rules now. That what are the rules we have? If the desired reaction is having higher order, then maintain the concentrations as high as possible. Okay. So this rule I think I will tell you. Okay, please make a note of this and also mug up. Remember, right? Yeah. For reactions in parallel, the concentration level of reactants is the key to proper control of product distribution. Full we'll stop. A high reactant concentration favors the reaction of higher order. The reaction of higher order, comma, a low concentration favors the reaction of lower order, comma, while the concentration level has no effect on the product distribution for reactions of same order, not zero order, same order, because concentration concentration will get cancelled. Okay. So that is the one. That is beautiful. This one you have to remember. We would like to quantify. Now uh, you see, these are all analytical things only. What we have discussed, right? So what do you do? Whether you are going to maintain high or low. But if someone asks you now, tell me what is the maximum yield you will get? Exactly a number, quantification. So then we have to go to mathematical equations, right? So now we are trying to do that mathematical equations. Then uh, we will say that this is yield quantification. And we have instantaneous yield defined earlier as phi equal to dCr by minus dCa. So this is the instantaneous yield phi. Instantaneous, <coughs> instantaneous yield is phi there. So how do we quantify means? Yeah, this equation we will take and then discuss. If I have a plug flow, how do I get the yield? Okay. Yeah. Now you have to. Think a little bit, okay? So how do I get uh, a plug flow yield from this equation? I call this equation as one. <coughs> how do I get yield, overall yield? That means capital Phi P. How do I get that for plug flow? That is instantaneous yield. Where is this instantaneous yield? Oh, inside the reactor only, but at what point? At any cross section. So now overall yield, how do I get? Integration, right? So when I integrate, what do I integrate? Yeah. DCR phi DCA minus this minus is there, no? Now. This one, right? So here, what are the limits? Yes, yes. Zero to zero. Zero to zero. Where is C R not? Normally, C R not is zero. Normally, we never take a product in the beginning, unless you have catalytic reaction, auto catalytic reaction. Okay? Yeah. And this, the other one corresponding to? C not to C A. That is C A F. Okay? Now, this one I can write as C R F. Equal to minus phi dCa Ca naught to CaF. So this is the equation, but this is not still yield. This is not still yield. What is yield definition? Yeah, there are two definitions. If I take the second one, if I take the first one, this will be simply Ca CrF by C A naught. This is one. If I take the second one, yeah, phi two. If I take, uh, then this will be C R F by C A naught minus 
C A F. Right? So, that means, if I take the second one for example, first one is easy. So, phi p 2 if I take, then this equation for yield will be, this entire thing is C R F. Right? This entire thing is C R F. So, this will be 1 by integral C N R to phi d C A. So, this is the expression where I have to integrate and then get it. Yes, you are right, minus is there, <coughs> because to take care of this minus. Correct, no? This is more and that is less. So, this is the one. So, that means now, I should have this phi in terms of C A, in terms of, otherwise I cannot integrate that. Right? So, how do I get that uh, information? Okay, we will come to that later. So, now, if I have M F, how do you find out phi? capital phi, phi m that is phi p. So, instantaneous yield also is there, I mean, this is the, the definition for both, but where is that instantaneous yield for uh, mixed flow? So, I think inside the reactor, outside the reactor, outlet both are same. So, what is outlet concentrations? So, then this differential equation will be into difference equation where this is nothing but yeah, C r f minus C r naught and this is also C A F minus C A naught. Yes sir, it is minus, so it will be C A naught. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, minus is there, but I told only D C A expanded. So, now, that is the equation what you get. So, phi m is at actually, capital phi m is small phi m at outlet. Correct? Huh? Outlet means at C A F, because that is same definition. So, then this will become delta C r by delta C a <coughs> minus delta C a. Right? So, that becomes now C r f by C a naught minus C a. So, this is very easy and uh, next uh, another beautiful thing is our graphs. So, now how do I represent this information for plug flow on a graph sheet? Okay, simply this one, I am talking about this, this one first. Yeah, so I have to now plot. This is again simple graphical representation. This is phi versus C A, right? So you may get something like this: concentration versus phi, right? I mean, that is not the only way. Just I am showing. You may get in one case like that. Then how do I find out from this graph my C R F? I should know. Ah, area under the curve. I should know first what is C A naught. C A naught is this side because C A decreasing, then this will be C A F and this area will be very good, that is C R F, right? Excellent. Now, the same thing, how do I get for, this is for P F, for M F, how do I get that? Phi versus C A, I get again the same thing, right. Mm. Uh, my C A naught is somewhere here. How do I get my C R F from mixed flow? Which rectangle? I can draw any number of rectangles. There. What is upper rectangle? First of all, I have to locate my C A F. Oh, okay, I located C A F. Now, tell me which rectangle? This one, no? No rectangle. No rectangle. Okay, Abhishek. No rectangle. Not the middle part. Ah, see, compromise. Middle part. Somewhere here. Why averaging area here? No rectangle. This is the one. This is C R F. Now, tanks in series, phi versus C A, same shape, then I have here C A F, I have three tanks. So, my C A 1 will be somewhere here, C A 2 will be somewhere here, this is C A F, C A F, C A 2, C A 1. Of course, this also is nothing but C A 3. 
very good very good catch me like that <laughs> i am very happy if you catch me okay good so then how do i get now this is the one that is cr1 this one is cr2 this one is cr3 you see now if you put infinite number of tanks what will happen yeah, you will get see how easy to remember graphs you know how easy how beautiful to remember graphs i think start uh, drawing graphs i say it's really very very good but only thing is now you should have information of this phi as a function of ca how do you get that you have to go to laboratory and then take the whatever reaction that is uh, you are studying and then mix the reactants take out the products and then analyze for all the components if there are three at least two you have to measure and then third one you can get by differentia okay so like that then you can list out now with various uh, you know uh, course, timings also will come if it's a batch reactor so for this ca what is cr okay if cr is the desired product or if cs is the desired product for this ca what is cs now you plot cr versus uh, ca that is this function right so this may be for example 1 plus 2 ca square as an example i am taking cr equal to 1 plus 2 cr square or maybe uh, 1 plus ca plus ca square that you have to plot that line you have to plot okay then take area under the curves and all that that is beautiful as long as uh, only cr cr you want to find out we are able to find out now but what actually you do <coughs> to find out what is the volume of the reactor see here till now, now we are not talking about volume of the reactor no yeah okay so one more thing i will just draw in some cases you may get phi versus ca uh, maybe like uh, okay like this decreasing because it is not in our hands anything may may happen in the reactions so but this is still ca not this is caf what is pf for yield and what is mf for yield? pfr will be uh, simply area, area under the curve right this is pf what is mf now you have to take that there by so now yeah so all this is mf okay similarly i may draw any number of graphs like that you know we may draw phi versus ca okay maybe it going like this and then after some time it's coming back like this but caf is only here not caf ca not is here caf so what do we do so we will go till this maximum which reactor is the best this side and which reactor is the best this side here it is uh, plug flow this is caf if it is mfr i have to draw here only no highest yield yeah i know all of you ek kantam all of you are telling you know that's m no don't get confused there you are not minimizing the volumes we are maximizing the yield so this maximum minimization problem you have to remember i say you have only one maximization problem that is without reading how do you get yes okay forget about that and then see this so this is pf and here this is mf okay like that any shape you can just again find out but here maximization not minimization please remember if it is reactor volume then you have to go for minimum but here it is the product this is cr this is crf because first we have mixed flow from ca not to this concentration intermediate concentration concentration corresponding to maximum phi right and then from there this is pf so it will be like that that is the setup very good sir this graph 
Ha. Which graph? This graph. Did you understand this graph? Yes. Yeah. Did you understand this graph? That is the combination of both. Ah, <laughs> 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 then. Then what pass? Every part, then P part. Ah, you tell me because C F C A not is starting here. Uh, put the reactors in, the, uh, in this way only, first MFR, then PFR, or by looking at the graph, you are telling me this, this should be the <laughs> Okay, you tell me. I would like to get that answer from you. Okay. Yeah. You see, I have uh, the, again, I will draw. See, I have uh, 5 versus uh, CA. It is increasing and then decreasing. <coughs> okay. And where is uh, C A naught here? Which side? Okay. This side is C A naught. And somewhere here I need C A F. Okay. Maybe 90 percent conversion. Corresponding to 90 percent conversion, what is my maximum? C R F. Okay. Good. So, now this we divided into two parts. Because one reactor may not give you any idea there. So, now when it is decreasing, that is decreasing is this. Okay, PF, uh, MFR is best here because this is CA naught, this is CAF, this is the extra volume also, uh, yeah, extra area also I have to take so that my CRF is maximum. Okay, so now till here how do I draw the line? Okay, if I take PFR here, what area I have to take? PFR. Yeah, PFR is area under the curve because that is the equation here. Right, but if I take MFR, this is the one. Yeah, this rectangle I have to take. So this entire thing. Okay. So now did you put first uh, MFR or PFR? You are starting with CNR. Okay, is it okay or uh, still not able to find out? So we have to maximize CRF. Yeah. Ultimate aim is to maximize CRF. Yeah, to get maximum uh, CRF. So we have to take more volume. More area. More area. Yeah. So, we must take uh, uh, MFR first. MFR first. And then here, here if I take uh, PFR, what area you get? Lower. And if you lower. take MFR, what area you get? Yeah, for PFR, we have to take the lower rectangle. For PFR? MFR. MFR. Ah, for MFR, you get only this. Right? So, that is why if I put two MFRs, then I will get, I, I am losing all this area. Right? If I get two PFRs, if I use two PFRs, then again I am losing this area. So, that is the reason why here PFR, that is this portion is PFR and this portion is, but you have to put CA naught here, CA here, CAF here. Okay? Good.